back to my culinary videos and today we are here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. I'm going to show you all what food I'm eating today. We're going to do our own little food tour which includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I will see you all for breakfast. <laughs> Try the orange juice. Mm, the orange juice is so good, it's fresh. Really good. So, I have tested out what's different about this cappuccino and that cappuccino, and I think it's caramel. There's a caramel base. I don't know if you can see yeah. right here. I have my pan dulce here. It's huge. I know, like, in English too, I think we call it actually Mayan bread. So it's just a type of bread. Yeah, with like this stuff on top. Yeah. And what we do... So what they do here is they dip it in their coffee and they eat it like this. So good. Really good. Alright guys, that's it. My belly's super full and we still have lunch and dinner to go. So I'm gonna let my belly rest and I'll see y'all in a few. And we're going to eat some tacos here, so I'm really excited. You got tacos asada and I got tacos longanese. I don't know. We'll see what it's like. So we have two juices here, jugo tamarindo and jugo de limon. And I thought that this would be sweet. I've already tried it. My bad, y'all. But it's not sweet. It's kind of sour. It's really refreshing. I really like it a lot. It almost tastes like Italian ice that is melted. Really good. And this is tamarindo. So good. I love tamarindo. I like it a little bit more on the sour side though. But it's really delicious. Alright, so we have a special guest star here. Maxopolitan with the double X. Max. Can you try the tacos? Yes, of course. So these are tacos asada. <laughs> beef tacos with guacamole. It's not necessarily beef. <laughs> oh, really good. Really good? Mmm, that's delicious. Alright, so I'm trying my tacos long get long. I'm trying my tacos long and Niza. Long and Niza. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. Put some of salsa on here. So good. What is long and Niza? 
I have no clue. If you know what it is, comment down below and let me know what I'm eating. But the seasoning is so delicious. This, look at this color, it's beautiful. 10 out of 10. So good. I'm gonna finish eating now, y'all. But it's been a fun journey thus far on this food tour. like what four tostadas and then I think we get like two sample tostadas so we're gonna have a tostada party I'm super excited about this I'll pan the tostadas for y'all to see y'all better be jealous because I would be see y'all soon so they just gave right, us, hang on right. so they just gave us towels to wash our face and our hands with I'm really impressed and we had the fish tostadas the one on the house. They're on the house. I'm really impressed by this place. I'm definitely gonna like link the name of the restaurant or not link. Why do I keep saying link? Put the name of the restaurant. And they said it's 30% off for lunchtime. My mouth is like watering right now. I'm so excited. It's really good. making food videos I hate is that I have to be patient when it comes to showing y'all. I just want to grudge. This one is mixed and it has octopus, shrimp. So good. Try the other one. <laughs> this one is just shrimp, so I know I'm gonna like it a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Really good. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is a wrap. We just got offered marijuana and coke. <laughs> we gotta go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm stuffed. Are you stuffed? Yeah, I'm stuck. I could actually go for some ice cream right now, not gonna lie to you though. But that whole thing was 242 pesos, which is around 12 US dollars, more or less. So it was a really good deal. Um, and something that I was saying that I wanted to mention to y'all is if y'all are coming to a very touristic destination like Playa del Carmen, um, I always recommend don't stay on the main touristic strip. Always like try to go to the alleyways. It's literally like 10 feet away. It's not much of a difference, but the prices are drastically different. Why is that? What do you think? I don't know. I think because they have to compete tourists, and they have to stick they have out to compete somehow. And they have to stick out, but also because tourists are less likely to go down these alleyways. So, that's their way of competing. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> See y'all later. Ciao, tschüss. Bis dann. <laughs>